Hi there. Efren. Efren here at Evolution Diagnostics. And our video today is about a we're going to replace a, a wheel bearing on this 2007 Mazda CX-9 um, and this is the reason why we're going to replace that wheel bearing there is there is barely barely any play on this wheel but if we come to this side we're gonna see that there's something wrong with this with this one yeah this one has a lot of play that so I took the truck on the test drive and I can hear a buffing sound like a grinding sound that it's coming from the right front uh, wheel assembly so very likely that this is why Next, let's get uh, our caliper out of the way. Okay, set it aside here. Uh -huh. Not so tough, huh? Not so tough. Now that we remove our brake caliper and bracket assembly, we can slide it out and use one of these. Do not leave the caliper hanging. So you just kind of go like that. You can use a you can use a, a rope, a coat hanger. You can bend it and then make a something out of it and then you can hang the caliper from like just like that so this is what we need to use to remove these in order for us to remove the rotor so you just go like this grab the from the handle and you're gonna pull counterclockwise and just strike it like that easy peasy remember righty tighty lefty loosey set our tool right in here we're gonna use it later next we need to remove the axle nut okay looks like we're gonna have to order a new axle nut oh boy 
you guys see all this corrosion here oxidation sometimes these axles can get stuck really good step is uh, remove these bolts um, this bottom one too for the lower control arm ball joint and we need to remove our ABS sensor so let's go ahead and do that. Set it right there. And it's off. Alright. Next uh we're going to remove the separate our ball joint from our spindle separate that off a good thing to remember is that once we get these two bolts loose we're gonna lose alignment so after the wheel bearing is replaced and everything is back together remember car needs to be aligned one more go More to go. Jeez. Axle loose, ball joint is out of the way. Oof, forgot. We still gotta pop our uh, uh, outer tie rat. So this will be our last step. out of the way it's no good anyway so 
put a new one and break this nut loose remove your castle nut Or a outer tight right terminal. You just get it off and let's get our spindle out by pulling. Lots of pulling. spindle. Our next step is popping the the hub out of its place. Alright now we need to get the we need to separate our uh, hub assembly from our uh, spindle or wheel bearing in other words. Um, <clears throat> and for that, we need to use a, a press, kind of like that over there. But um, since I don't have the adapters, we're just going to improvise here. And how you do it is uh, you put it up high somehow. I can figure this out. Um, and then just use a socket kind of like this one and we're gonna strike it right on the center and that'll if we're lucky that'll uh, pop the the hub out of the out of the wheel bearing so let's let's see try our luck Man, all the all the ball bearings just came out. Woohoo! So here's our hub. Um, it looks like this hub is no good. Yeah, it's no good. So since um, our hub is no good, uh, we're gonna replace the wheel bearing. I already ordered a brand new hub, so we don't have to worry about popping this wheel bearing race out. We're just going to pop the actual wheel bearing out of the spindle. And we're going to go ahead and do that. For that we need a snap ring pliers. Just put the flathead around it. Goes flying away. See if we can get the rest of the wheel bearing out.
Done. So now we got to press our uh, wheel bearing back into the spindle and for that you just got to set it up in a way where it's going to sit um, evenly and make sure that you don't tip the spindle over um, and you get the wheel bearing um, and put it in the, on the spot where it's going to work and it's not going to tilt or uh, Moved. You're gonna do that like this. So let, let's press our, our wheel bearing back into the spindle and you can do that by setting up your uh, wheel bearing like this. This is how I set it up. I mean you could do it however you want it but make sure that the surface that the spindle is resting on is even and flat. That way you, you'll drive your uh, new wheel bearing right into place there Forget to put your uh, snap ring back in place, and you could probably do it like this. Just uh, be careful, don't, don't hurt yourself. Kind of like that. Force it in with a flat head screwdriver. Like that. Uh, and then uh, one more thing is we're gonna press our uh, hub into the uh, wheel bearing. We're gonna do that. Put it back in the press. Again, put it in a way where it's gonna rest uh, evenly. You put something where it's gonna support the center uh, of the wheel bearing like that because if you don't do it and then you drive the you press that uh, hub assembly through it you're gonna pop this side of the wheel bearing the race you're gonna pop it out and you don't want to do that so you put it like that and then you center this thing and then for that Make sure that you grab some of that wheel wheel bearing grease and just put a little bit of it just to you know when you're driving the the hub assembly into place it just it'll make it go a lot easier.
our hub went all the way through the bearing race and it's now it spins nice and smooth so that's how you do it now to put it back in there and in the, into the car you just you know you saw my video how I took it apart so how I took it apart you put it back the same way and torque everything to specs and that's how you replace a wheel bearing on a 2007 Mazda CX-9